All right, so we're gonna get into some front-end development and UI component organization, SaaS organization. I've never done this before, like in a screencast or instructional format. So this is a little bit of my style mashed up with some atomic design pattern uh, and just kind of jacking it up basically. So what I do is I pull up my screen side by side as you probably do and I go through all the different components on the page and I create uh, components a little bit redundant, but we create uh, files for each major component type. Okay, so we'll start at the top and it's probably easiest to open this in Finder and go into SAS. I start to group these. So I start with components and elements and layouts. And also I do a little base thing here. So this, this one file will include all other SAS files and the order that I need them, including vendor things possibly. And then inside the components, these are like the unique things. Like this would be, oh no. Getting the zoom right in Sketch is actually kind of a pain. It's like the only thing I've come across that I kind of don't like. Anyway, um, components, like custom design elements, uh, buttons, heroes, whatever panels, cards, whatever your kind of generic unit words are. And the elements are gonna be more like HTML level things like um, button, or not buttons, but uh, like forms, uh, tables, that kind of stuff. All right, so we'll start by copying and pasting and I see nav and I see buttons. Actually, I tend to do plural. And then if I have uh, variations on that particular component, I'll add a second class like primary or collapsed or whatever. You probably do something like that. Scroll down, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna call this like panels, promos, promo panels. I don't know, panels. And player for video. Block quote, that's really just an element, probably goes into typography. Um, maybe we'll call these callouts. Callouts, maps, footer. Technically it would be footers, but I know there's only gonna be one. We'll call it footers anyway. All right, then we'll go down to elements. And so coming back up to the top, we know we've got stuff like, well, tables probably are gonna, they're not in this particular cop, but they'll be in there. Tables, forms, um, typography will go in here. Anything else? Lists, right? I should do it. All right, now I come in here and I wire these up. Actually, base, I usually have variables and reset. And that should do it. So actually typography, I usually put in base. So let's do that. All right, next, chimney. Expose all these here. Oh, layouts. Let me just do that real quick. Uh, home. Contact. About. Nope. What are our sections? Services. Guide. All right, now we can close that. Include. That's not right. Mm, I can't remember what it's supposed to be. Uh.
All right, import base reset. And then I do the variables so that we have that early. Typography. Components. Buttons. Make that plural. Labs, tables. Contact, guide, home. Services. Cool. Now I'll come back into here and make sure this gulps. Nope, we've got an error. And table legs. Someone saw it and was like, Jack, no, don't do it. All right, cool. Now I can leave that on watch mode and just leave that going. Now we can jump in and out of these files. Let's just like make this consistent. Layouts. Cool. And start coding. And now uh, what we can do is basically create one element of each or a few elements or whatever, roll them all out on a page, not in a layout, but just on a component level and start to code up like their base default state. So each component um, should kind of stand alone, have its own style. They can be adapted by the layout file. That's my approach anyway. And so we'll come down here into our layouts. Oh, the other layouts file, SAS layouts, default. And I'll kill Bootstrap, I'm not gonna use it. I don't really like using Bootstrap. I find it's just a little bit cleaner and lighter weight to code everything from scratch. It's really not that hard. And so we'll just do that. Um, also, I'm just not gonna care about this stuff. Let's just make it simple. Okay, title or site title. Blah, 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 blah. This will include our default site theme, so that's great. I'm not gonna bring in Bootstrap. We'll leave jQuery for now. I'll probably end up swapping it out with Vue.js. And kill this container file. Actually, yeah. Just do this. I like this a little tighter these days. All right, template content. Close the layout and we'll work completely inside templates default. All right, pretty vanilla. Then we'll grab um, reset CSS kind of doing this long form. I'm not gonna use any of my pre-done stuff just to show you what it is that I'm doing. Um, so we'll do the Myers web. No, that's not the one I like. What is it? Normalize. I'll just come in here. Dun, 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 dun. Reset. Now we've been normalized. And now we just start coding down the line with the, the least amount of um, markup per element necessary first, and then we'll just go from there. Come on. And starting with the top, we'll do a nav. I like double quotes. Mm -hmm. 
We'll include an SVG there. I always do everything I can in SVG because you can manipulate it later. I'm actually gonna switch to spaces four. I'm not sure why it's on two right now. Probably some other project I was in recently. And we'll do nav links and LIA one, two, three, four. Thanks, Emmett. Actually, these really don't even, let's let's just keep it really generic, right? Start with that, it was really, really basic. We'll adapt with a button later. And let's just wrap each thing with like something generic, like a component for an overall layout. So we can give some spacing around each of these things. And then we'll test them responsibly and make sure they're all good to go before we drop them into a layout. So we'll do another component. Hero. All right, so we might have uh, media. scope these. I go back and forth whether I actually like all the sub elements scoped or not. I'm just going to scope it this time. It doesn't really hurt. All right, so we'll do a big header. We'll call that H2. It's probably, actually, it really should just probably be a paragraph inside a hero, right? So we'll do warm up some block. We'll shorten it though. It's a bit long. Um, we might have a button in there, but we'll just leave it simple for now. Call this a panel. Uh, we'll start with like, we'll call it side by. Something you can do actually, which I just remembered now. Markdown. Markdown. If you don't want to write all your markup, like your sample content, you can do that. Let's just confirm now, just in case. Well, that's, that's the downside of that, right? Actually, if this was supposed to work, you need to be like that. So maybe it's not helping. Oh, actually, you know what? There's um, there's a little parameter on Markdown now. Let's let's go look at that. Docs, let's come. My tags Markdown. And it's not in the docs. Cool. If you want to look at source code for any of these tags, just type it and then put tags at the end. And we can see that there is this indent, uh, which will ignore the indent or allows for indented markdown without parsing everything as code. So I'll make sure to document this for you guys, but markdown indent, which probably, I don't know, maybe it should be the uh, default behavior. But anyway, so that lets us do this. If you find that better, great, especially if you have like lots of content and stuff, if not, Whatever. There's just a little trick for you. We'll do a player. A 
in fact, we'll just call this, uh, uh, I'm probably not going to have any audio players in this. We'll call it a video player. Or just a, yeah, just a, just a player's fine. Um, we'll come back to that. All right, next up, uh, block quote. We'll do a we'll do a kitchen sink thing. We'll come back to that panel. All right, component. Uh, what do we call this? Promos, callouts. I think it's callouts. Callouts. We'll just assume that there's always two, and we can adapt our framework later if we need to. So we'll do callout number one. H two. Do that times two. Actually, this whole thing should be a link because otherwise, what are we doing here, right? Um, so we'll make sure we set that up like a link. Component. Do this later because we need to probably do map box and do an embed. Or this is a simple site, it might just be an image. I'm gonna decide that later. And then footer. Footer class footer. Doesn't matter that much anymore anymore. These days. Alright. Um, so I usually do like contact. I'll keep this a little bit semantic instead of describing the layout. I just Describe the content here. So, telephone, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. this in case we wanted to do like icons or something later but you'll do info at example.com So we've got a few things in here, and let's pop up in our browser and take a look at where we're at. Looks finished. Yeah. We'll break here just for uh, keeping this, this a little bit more organized. So this is kind of like an organization. Then I'll actually get into coding it, and that way maybe you want to see how I organize it, but not necessarily how I code it, because it's really not that fancy. But here we go. 